Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gregory video. Today is day nine. The stupid clock just now rung and I was like, I hate you. And uh, rest in peace, Mike. All right, so as always for these Gregory videos, I'm not recording the tweets as that would be too much for me. And I think it's more of a podcasty kind of vibe where you could just listen to me talk and you're not gonna really miss anything. And uh, if there's any videos or images that pop up in the in the story or any kind of, you know, any kind of media that shows up, then I'll just put that on the screen for you to see. Other than that, just sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and uh, enjoy. And leave a like. Let's go for 30 likes for 30 days of YouTube. Bye. Hell yeah. And later, you can catch me on a live stream, because uh, that's what's been happening for the last, like, eight, nine days. Um, right after I upload, I go live for I don't know how long. I don't know. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Last time I kind of ended kind of early, he looked in the notebook and he saw they took my eyes and there were eyes in the water and in the river and there were guts in his yard. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go watch part one and part two. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't see them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch them, then come back and catch up with us. Okay, so, and leave a like if the video is over 20 minutes. Hey. ye. <laughs> Shit. I called my mom yesterday. I wanted to see if she knew anything about this place. She said I've actually been here before when I was really young. I don't remember any of that. I tried to ask her again why she never got along with my grandfather, but she's so cagey about it. Okay. Uh, she grew up in a town nearby, and my grandfather didn't move into his house until after my mom left for school. I guess she never really came back. We talked for a little bit, but my reception here is spotty. She asked me if there was still wine in the cellar, and I told her there wasn't a cellar, but she said there was, down in the basement, off to, off to a corner. After she hung up, I went downstairs to look, and she was right, as always. <laughs> There's a bunch of old antique stuff in the basement, and behind some filling... Oh my gosh, Gage, shut the fuck up. There's a bunch of old antique stuff in the basement, and behind some filing cabinets, there's a dusty little wine cellar. I can't believe I missed it at first. It's full of wine and some of it's really old. Now this, I don't know, I don't know anything about wine, but um, this looks really nice and really old. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about wine, but um, if you're wine experts out there, you can, you can fill me in on if this is good stuff or not. All right. And then um, there, are, there were also these weird wooden wine spots stopper there were also these weird wooden wine stoppers all over the place oh man that's really weird i don't know how i feel about that i like the dog <laughs> from the looks of this it seems like nobody's been down here for a while poor guy Ooh. so we have what appears to be a rat some of these bottles i don't know anything about wine oh he doesn't know anything about it either and i wonder if they're good anyway at least I have a surplus of alcohol down here to take my mind off of how weird things have been lately. Hell yeah. 1864. Now, I don't know if this means that it was actually made in 1864, but if it was, then god damn. Jesus. Apple brandy. Damn. 1934. Yo. Any of you wine experts out there, tell me if this is good, some good stuff. This house keeps surprising me. I keep finding weird shit around the property. <laughs> <laughs> like there's a collapsed shed in the back a little ways through the trees it's not that strange i guess but i can't help but overthinking everything i see now i mean i don't blame you but um does this say bermuda what's bermuda bermuda triangle internet shit number triangle none of it makes sense none of it makes sense and there's something else i found that I can't stop thinking about. There's so much junk around the house and I'm trying to clean it up. Partly because it, it'll partly because it'll help this place sell faster, but also to keep my mind off things. I was sorting through some debris and found these old rusty letters in a pile on the ground, partly under the foundation. I can see some nail holes on the side of the house, so I think they were on the house at one point. I know sometimes people give lake houses names. I can't figure out what they might have said. I can't figure out what they might have said though. I brought them inside and laid them all out on the kitchen floor to see if I could make sense of them, but no luck so far. Maybe someone else can figure it out. 
we got an A, we got an L, and we got an E, W, D, P, H, A, T, E, C, E, R, P, E. A little ways away from the shed, I found this in the middle of a clearing. What is this? It look, it appears to be a bunny. A really rusty old bunny. I don't know. Sorry for not updating in a while. The reception up here is terrible and I haven't been able to get Twitter to load all that often. At least there's lots of wine in the cellar so I haven't been too bored. Damn. 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 <laughs> I've mostly been trying to keep busy getting the house in shape to sell. A realtor is supposed to come up here next week to help me formally list it. Which is, which is good because I'd like to get out of here. But there's something weird about the town down the road that I can't figure out. I've been getting cabin fever really bad, so the other day I drove into town to have breakfast and wander around a little bit to get my mind off things. There's only one restaurant in the whole town from what I could tell. I went there to eat and the whole experience was sort of bizarre. I'm not really sure how to explain it. Anyway, I ordered the Eggs Benedict off the menu. The waitress had a pretty chilly attitude, but nothing out of the ordinary. But then she brought out my food. They'd totally forgotten the eggs of my eggs Benedict. It, <laughs> and here's a picture. <laughs> it was just ham and... It was just ham and hollandaise. Wow. They completely scammed my man. Without eggs on his eggs Benedict. Like, what the fuck, bro? What the hell, bro? I called the waitress back and told her she'd forgotten my eggs, and then she was like, oh wait, and then she was like, she had forgotten my eggs. I, I called the waitress back and told her she'd forgotten my eggs, and all she would, and all she said was, we don't have that. I asked how a diner could be out of eggs, especially early in the day. She just said sorry and walked away. It was so weird. I was confused, so I took a second to look at the menu. I realized the description doesn't ha actually list eggs in the big in the benedict and then i realized eggs aren't listed anywhere on the menu even in the sides wow wow it doesn't say eggs benedict anywhere it, 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 he, he just ordered a benedict <laughs> what kind of diner doesn't have eggs at all that might make sense in a vegan restaurant or something, but they have meat all over the menu. I can't figure it out. Also on my way out, there was this family in a booth sort of watching me leave. They were all really quiet in a sort of obvious way. They had two twin girls with them. I'm definitely not coming back here. <laughs> I mean, hey, like, usually if there's if it's a small town and everybody knows everybody, sometimes people want to study you, you know? Like, <sighs> I was thinking about, I was thinking about it the whole way home. There were, there are too many things that don't make sense, and I don't feel any closer to figuring it out. But one thing seems clear, I'm not welcomed here. Damn. When I got home, I found something ho folded up in... When I got home, I found something folded up and wedged in the door, in my front door, near the handle. Someone clearly wants me gone. Leave. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at the image. It was, it was written on the back of a tag of some sort. I expect it was that eyeless woman from before. I haven't seen her, but I think she's still out there. And she hasn't seen you. I <laughs> get it, because she doesn't have eyes. I think something bad is coming. I'm gonna pop another bottle of wine. I don't know what else to do right now. Damn, now now he's an alcoholic. Shit. Alright, now this is just over this is just over a week later. I something I saw something out in the woods today. I've been trying not to spend all of my time at the house since being cooped up all the time makes me feel crazy. I think I think he already is crazy. <laughs> to be honest. I think he's already lost it. Um, God damn it, Greg. Even though it might not be super safe to be out alone in the woods, it still feels better than being at home all the time. God, I can't believe I just referred to that place as home. I've been here too long. Anyway, I was taking a walk today. These woods would be so pretty if I didn't feel like someone was going to murder me out here. 
I was almost enjoying myself when I stumbled into a clearing and found something strange. There was a f there was a single filthy chair overlooking a ledge. How much you want to bet this chair is overlooking his house? That's kind of weird. I bet it's looking at his house. It didn't seem that creepy at first, but I got this funny feeling, so I took out my phone and pulled up my maps app. And sure enough, the chair was pointed in the exact direction of my house. I knew it. I knew it. What did I tell you? What did I say? I was probably a mile away from the house at that point, but it was still weird. It made me feel queasy, and I didn't want to stick around, so I hustled out of there. But I but I'd barely walked 30 feet when I found something else, something way worse. I don't even know how to describe it. What the hell is this? And we have two pictures. It looks like, is that bones and rocks placed in some kind of, is that a frog? <laughs> some kind of witchcraft. I think that's what's going on here. It's a bunch of witchcraft stuff. I don't know how to feel about all that, dude. It, I took a video of it too. It freaked me out, but I was mesmerized by it at the same time. I couldn't stop staring at it. I feel like I was in a daze. There's a bug on it. Huh. Okay. It seems like every day there's something new, but I'm not closer to understanding what's happening out here, or why. I finally pulled myself away and practically stumbled away for, for the rock. I think it meant from the rock. I felt dizzy walking away. I just wanted to go back home. Damn, now he wants to go back home, and he's calling it home again. I started back in the direction of my house, and that's when I saw her, that woman from before. <laughs> that's when I saw her, the love of my life. She was standing up on a hill, seemingly staring at nothing. I darted behind a nearby tree, but luckily, I don't think she saw me. I hadn't seen her in weeks, but I knew she was still out here. I took a video from behind the tree. I don't even know why. It's like it'll... It's not like it'll do any good, but at least I have proof that I wasn't imagining any of this. Wow. I don't know. Any of this could be faked. And it makes me wonder if that's the hoodie that he ha that he saw a while a while back. You know, in the woods whenever he was walking. But, um, I don't know. I, I think... I don't know. Could this be a friend of his? Like, just messing with him? Could it be a prank? Like, for a YouTube video? Could they... Could this be someone who stumbled upon his Twitter account? Realized he was doing something and started, you know, messing around with him a little bit? You never know. Because he gained a lot of traction on this account. Eventually, she left the hill and disappeared in, into the woods. Once I was sure she was gone, I left the tree and practically made and practically and practically and practically ran back home. A whole way back, I kept Im expecting her to appear again and attack me or something. What if he gets jumped or something? I don't understand what she's doing out here. Is she a witch? That sounds so stupid, but I don't know how to explain any of this. Those weird stick artifacts and now this thing on the rock? It feels like fucking witchcraft or something. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. It that's what I said. That's what I thought and it makes sense, you know? Um and who's and who's and who's on that boat? I kept seeing out and who's on that boat I kept seeing out there on the lake. Why is everyone in town so weird? At this point, I just want answers and I feel like I'm getting close to getting them. I'm just scared of what they might be. And I would be scared too, dude, honestly. I found out what those letters spell. About time. I basically forgot about it after finding them outside the house. I put them in the back of the closet and pretty much stopped thinking about it. But yesterday, I found something else. This little alcove upstairs with built-in 
shelves and a bunch of old books, sort of a mini library. It, I was flipping through some of them looking for something to read when I came across this little book about wine. Tucked inside were a couple of old Polaroid photos. They were pretty faded, so it was really hard to make out what they were. And here's the books. What do the letters spell? I guess we'll get to that. Here's the book. Notes on a cellar book. And here's the Polaroid. The first one was pretty unremarkable. It looks like it's just photos of the trees outside. And here's the picture. The second one was even blurrier. For a minute, I didn't know what I was looking at, but then I realized it was outside of the house and the letters I found on the ground a couple of weeks ago. The photo was super fuzzy, so it took me a second, but I was able to make it out. Deep Water Chapel. That sounds scary. And here's the picture. Wow. I guess they, the previous owners were really proud of their, of their, their big letters. All right, um, this is so weird. I've never heard that name before. Was my house a church or something? I spent the afternoon going through all of the other books in the library, but didn't find any other pictures. I don't know what to make of this. I'll let you know if I find anything else, but yeah, I don't know. All right, I think that'll do for this video. I'm sorry, I know. Um, I hope this video is, was entertaining for you. I really do. And, um, this was a good one today, guys. I really had fun. Uh, if you liked it, like the video for more. If you want to see what happens next, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Subscribe if you're not. And, um... I love you guys. 